when my uh, sister's husband came over, he was, you know, he was a programmer and all this stuff, and he just kind of showed up and he was like, hey, play this game, and it was a little text-based adventure game, and he's like, do you want to learn how to make one? And I was like, yes, I'm a kid wanting to build a game. So <laughs> I started building a game, and then he taught me how to build websites. One of the big things I've noticed, both playing and developing games, is that uh, procedural content generation in games tends to be very um, what you see, and it doesn't have as much to deal with plotline. I built a game for my honors project where all of the non-player characters actually held opinions towards information, and you could freely converse with them and talk about if you fear particular things, if you uh, love particular things, and based on that, it would generate new quests, and you would be able to play the game by um, kind of discussing with people in kind of new and novel ways that haven't been tested before. It's complex math, it's uh, difficult programming. You can have an end goal in mind and you can have something that you're really, really interested in creating and seeing, but it's a lot of work to get there. Having the professor work with you is extremely valuable because in our undergrad, we don't really know what is actually feasible. And having someone who has experience working with these sorts of things really help you refine it down and get to something that is potentially publishable and um, point you in directions to make sure that what you're doing is really contributing is so useful and so great.